Howdy, 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 my MVP family. Today I'm going to be talking to you about arthritis. As you know, I've already shared with you that I have arthritis in my lower back and my lumbar 2 and lumbar 4. I also have arthritis in my right knee. Um, it's not as bad, but it is there. But I want to share with you one of the gadgets that my daughter Jody bought me. So me that I use to support my weight loss journey and I'm just saying to you guys that um, if it's something you're interested in then you should go out and get it it is called a gazelle and this came about in the time when that guy Tony is it Tony Little? Tony Little he used to do the sprint on the, get, on the gazelle even though I just found out that sprinting is not a good thing for people with arthritis but the one thing that i like with this equipment is the fact that there's no impact on my knees so it's just a swinging motion but there's no i'm not like you know it's not jumping on the ground like the treadmill on the treadmill you're walking but this is just a swinging motion so i'm just gonna do a couple minutes on it to show you guys how it works and then I am going to talk to us about arthritis, some exercises that we can do to relieve some type of arthritis. So if you're, if you're a person like me with arthritis in the lower back, some exercises that will that should support you as you deal with it. I am not a person who is quick for the medication and quick for the, the knife. Um, so I'm doing everything I can do to, to tolerate it. Um, my knee does act up when I have to climb stairs. Um, that's one of the biggest ones. But apart from that, I can I move around pretty well for now. Um, my back acts up in the morning. But then we'll find out that when it's not, arthritis is something that when there isn't enough movement, I guess then it tends to get stiff and creates a lot more problems. So just let me get on the gazelle for two shakes with you guys so you can see how it works. And then we'll talk about old man arthritis. All right, so that's the gazelle. And what I like also with this gazelle is that you also get a chance to I'll just lower it a little so you can see the foot movement. You get a chance also to move it. When it moves, you can move your arms with it. So for me, with these arms, it does support my movement. Um, so again, it has the swing. And I'm going to get on. And it's just a movement, guys. It's just a movement. But I like these because it allows you to get the arms involved. So if you have it in a good place, guys, you can watch your TV if you want to right now. watching the news where they're talking about Trump going to the D.C. courthouse. Um... So thanks to you, Jody, and Jody and had bought this for me. I liked it, and my sister liked it. I got her one. So <laughs> we get ready, we get on our gazelle, and we just go. So this, it make, allows the arms to strengthen also. You can feel the burning in the muscles. So whatever you can do guys, so just keep moving, just do it. And you could do it 10 minute um, 
sessions. You can do five minutes if you want to. You put yourself where you can be comfortable and make it work for you. If you don't want to hold the handles, you can hold the bar. As I said, you can be watching your TV, listening to music. When Grayson comes over, he likes this machine so much. <laughs> stop it has a little gadget here to measure how much time how much calories you know stuff like that you get off carefully to get it done another day so as I said we are going to go now to my special place where I sit and talk to you sit <laughs> so I'm gonna sit at this ha 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 I can't see behind all right so yeah it's a good little workout and again you, you don't overdo things when we overdo things we 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 start hating it when you do it in timely increments and you build up you build up when I started walking in the backyard back and forth, I didn't just start doing like 20 laps in one setting. I started out with five and 10, and 10 was an easy go, and then I up it a little bit more. So when you're doing this, if you decide to get the gazelle, G-A-Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, um, just start out simple. Like my sister, she says she has hers in her living room and there are times when she's watching her videos or whatever and she just get on it and just go. Five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. And if you have the stamina to go longer, then go for it. I like to do a little bit and then go back and do some more, <laughs> sweat up again and do some more. Cause see, just the short time I get on, see, I'm, I'm having a sweat. So I take my time when I get things done, so I want to do it again and again and again. I don't do it so I'm hurting so bad. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I do it in little increments and so that I want to get on and do it. So as I said, arthritis, no sickness is partial, right? Sickness is just sickness. Things your body some of us work so hard in our young years, work so hard. And as I said, the terrain that I grew up in, I wasn't privileged to a nice roadway to carry water. I was carrying water through the hills, climbing up. I mean, little, like, you're coming up the hill. You're going up the hill. And they're little, like, like there were walls, but they're no longer like dirt would wash down and kind of cover it. But you got to grab onto a root or something to pull yourself up. One hand holding the pen on your head and the next one trying to, 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 to get support to carry that water up. And so for years, that was my life, you know, my, for my young years, that was my life where you had to carry heavy loads on your head. We use wood fire and wood had to be ready. We had a big buttery 
and under it it was high enough you had to make sure wood was under there to keep replenishing it so that they stayed dry and wood was there to make dinner i couldn't expect granny if granny is coming in and she's picks up some wood it's different but it was my job to sweep the yard to kept bring water full up the, the drum so granny could wash and do what she needed to do and 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 make sure wood was there for the fire and the pigs were fed and the goats were tied out and but when the goats were far away granny would go and tie them out and never did the cows she would go and, and take care of the cow but it was a lot and then the miles we had to run I had to run for school by the time I got out from where I live where the house was to get to the parochial road it was like already a full mile and from there to get now to the main road was another maybe half a mile and then from there to get up the hill all the way down the hill then up this the hill all hill to get to my school every day it was tough going. So these knees had their share of wear and tear, right? They had their share of wear and tear. And so I'm not complaining. I'm happy that I was able to get that kind of a foundation so that it made me into a stronger woman. You know, I'm not pitiful. I'm not sitting, crying and waiting. And, and no, I'm independent. I'm strong. I can manage, you know, I appreciate support. But I'm just saying I can manage because you learn early to get up and get things done. So now with the arthritis, um, my back, it can become so challenging sometimes because sometimes like you sleep and it's resting. But then when you wake up and it, it, ah, it, it, it can be terrible. It can be so terrible. It's like your back is like crunching, to, like it's just folding. It's like your back... Your lower back is trying to come to meet up with your upper. It's just a horrible feeling sometimes. And there's nothing you can do. For me, they say ibuprofen. It doesn't work for me. I took it a couple of times to, to support me um, for work. But I find I'm better off because the side effects from the ibuprofen is, is it's might as well I just suffer through until it eases out. So once you start moving, once I get to work, I'm on the leveled floor, I'm moving, you know, the back, I find that I get some more relief there than if I'm just sitting around and it just sits there and gets tight. So as it says here, this young, this lady, we have been hearing, you know, over the years, a lot of information is out there, people. We just have to read, try to sift through because sometimes some of the information is just people trying to sell products, trying to encourage you to do surgeries, to do this, to do that. Oh, this will work. This will work. This is the best. But just go through the information. If you cannot manage it, have your families who can manage. You have church families who can manage. Help, let, let them help you to go through these things. So you're making the right decisions when it comes to your arthritis. My blessing comes from the fact that granny had arthritis and I saw her live through arthritis without a Panadol, without any kind of medication. Granny never took medication. You hear her, oh my God, my knee, oh, the knee hurts so bad. And she, you'll hear her talking about it. But granny was always on the move. Granny was always moving. When she sits low in a low spot, she couldn't get up, just get up sometimes. Sometimes she's called me, Bev, come help me. And I would hold on to her and she would, she would be able to push off and get up. So it's best we had a little bench on the veranda that was hers to sit on so she's not so low that she cannot pull herself up. But I saw her go through it and I never saw her like, it didn't overwhelm her. She, cut, she she never sat down and said, oh, the pain today is too much, I can't. She's always moving. And so that's the attitude I want to have where every day I get up with the back ache, people might think, oh, she's all right because she's gone, she keeps. No, but I'm, I, I, have the pain, I have the pain. But I just keep going. I'm not just going to sit because I still have a lot of me left by God's grace to just keep going so I could work for a longer time and I don't want to sit home. The summer I'm home, I'm, <laughs> I should have really taken the trip with my husband to Jamaica. 
but I'm home guys and it's 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 what it is but it's not a nice thing I'm up till two o'clock in the mornings just until two just now reading more doing stuff I sit at my desk and wish Danny was here <laughs> but you know but I'm here and and I'm okay and um I go to bed late but I'm up and I have break what you call brunch like at 11 12 because I'm not hungry I'm not you'd think that I'm here alone and want this I'm not hungry at all I'm not I'm, I'm good I'm, I feel good and but I wish I had done something for the summer to just help me to have things to do but it's okay I'm gonna be all right so as I said, there are a lot of there's a there 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 are millions and millions of information out there as it relates to arthritis, and this young this person Linda Rath, she updated some things in June 2022, where she talks about arthritis is one of the is a single disease. Sorry, she says it's not a single disease, right? Because arthritis, it refers to joint pain or joint disease. And there are more than 100 types of arthritis, she says, and related conditions. So arthritis, right? And again, arthritis, as I said, it's not picky. It, 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 it affects people of all ages, races, and sexes, right? And so, but it's one of the, um, the leading cause of disability. Because the, the pain can be debilitating. I'm telling you sometimes when my back hurts, I'm doing the dishes and, and, and the, the pressure on my lower back, I have to stretch it out. And I find that that relieves it. So I am giving you this information to get into some exercises that will support you. I'm not saying it will, it, it's going to one size fits all of us, but I know when I stretch, like I'm at the sink and the pressure on my back is too much. And I find that when I stretch myself out, I feel like you just feel like a big relief just comes, you know. So um, she says some of the common symptoms include swelling, pain, stiffness, and diminished range of motion in joints. And it, 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 the, the symptoms will vary from mild to severe and may come and go. And it's true. Sometimes you feel good and you just keep going. And all of a sudden, you just find that pain. And, and it's just, mm. my knee, it has a little arthritis now in it, the right knee, not the left one. The left one, we did the surgery because of the torn meniscus the torn ligament but i was reading her thing here that if you when your these ligaments get torn <laughs> eventually the arthritis will set in but so far it's it's the stronger of the two knees so i'm giving thanks for that and i think because the right knee was t holding down the fort while i was struggling with the the left one after the surgery um, then no, it's just like it's overworked <laughs> and the, the, the cartilage has been overworked again. And so it, it started acting up. But the stairs, I don't, I cannot, I cannot love the stairs at all. I don't like the stairs. If I don't have to climb a stair, I'm happy. When I need to wash, I need to just be downstairs instead of back and forth, back and forth. I just want to put the hamper down, get down there, do the laundry, wait for them to dry, to, to wash, put them in the dryer, and then when they're dry, come up the stairs again. So it says, she says that arthritis can also, um, can also cause permanent joint changes, and these will be visible, such as knobby finger joints, all right, so if you're not, I don't have that yet. See, my joints are nice and straight here. See? This one, if you notice, this finger, but this is not from arthritis, though, right? 
in this hand this finger is a little like lean in like this I'll tell you what caused that finger to be like that and sometimes I put my hand up and people think oh what's wrong with that finger this finger because I don't drive when I moved here to Connecticut it was Jody and Judy were already in college it was just Christopher and myself my home was right there it's on the bus route actually there was a bus stop like a couple of feet up from the house coming back and they, we lived across the street from the school I just walked across the street to school that's my thing guys <laughs> I like to be near where I work <laughs> so I would take the bus on Sundays the bus would run every hour on Sundays and I would sit on the veranda and I'd wait for the bus and it comes and I'll go to the supermarket and I would pick up all these bags all these things so much things and when I get off the bus I am carrying all the bags by myself right I'm just bringing all the bags when we came here Christopher was 10 so he could stay in the house um, until I get back there were people tenants were right there so I would grab the bags and try to get from across the street across into the yard on the veranda through the house and to the kitchen where I would rest the bags down and that's what damaged this finger hooking the bag and just it's the pressure is there but I wouldn't put it down until I got to the kitchen so that's what this one is but other than that my fingers are good then I don't have arthritis yet in in them um so it says that it, the, those are some of the things that can happen. It says, but often the, dam the damage can be seen only on x-rays. When they found out about my back, it was on the x-ray that they, I was complaining too much about my back, my back, my back. And the doctor says, what did you do? Were you in the nursing field? And I said, yes. And I know those days I was lifting patients incorrectly. We didn't know how to bend the knee and lift them. We didn't know how to pivot them. We were just picking up people and putting them in their chairs, picking up people, putting them in bed, turning them, you know, just doing so much for patients who needed care and um, just damaging ourselves because back then you feel young and invincible. You know, you can do it. But then as you got older, the bigger you start feeling, you start feeling the, the, those effects. So mine was, was um, when I went, when he sent me, the x-ray picked up that lumbar 2 and lumbar 4 was arthritic. So some of the tips for exercising with arthritis. Again, what you want is relief. You want to be able to stretch these things out. You want to be able to... To, to, to help some of the swelling to go away, you want to make sure that you're moving. So you're on a weight loss journey. You don't just want to lose the weight because it, it makes you become a stronger, better you, but you want to be able to lose it just because of the arthritis too. So people with arthritis can use some of these exercises to make it easier. Um, some tips that they're giving to us to make, Exercise is easier and it says first check with your doctor make sure that your doctor approves you doing these things remember if you have high blood pressure if you have other things you have to make sure they know you cannot just take it on yourself say I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that you know start slowly as I said even with the gazelle you don't need to go in for an overkill oh this is easy I'm not running I'm not impacting my knee or oh, this is just Take your time, slowly, get into it, a little bit at a time, little is much, all right? So it's better for you to be able to do a little, and it goes up gradually, then you jump in it, then you hurt yourself, and you can't do anything. Um, invest in comfortable, supportive sports shoes and clothing. Comfortable sports shoes and clothing. For me, going to work, I don't wear, I always wear a dress, a skirt, something. I haven't felt comfortable to wear like leggings or things like that out of the house. Like when I was in Jamaica, I did wear leggings, but um, to 
it's not something that I'm comfortable with yet I used to wear jeans um, over the years and then I stopped but um make sure you're comfortable and f even for me what I did to not only for exercising but I stopped wearing the shoes with the heels and just went to my nice lace-up shoes Oxford's sell some nice lace-up shoes Clark's sell some nice leather good comfortable lace-up shoes for women to walk in and for men too but for me as a woman who you know women like their, their heels and whatnot but when I got out of the heels when I started struggling with my left knee before the surgery I was just into lace shoes nice comfortable lace shoes that you could just walk they feel like sneakers on your feet warm up and stretch before exercising to ensure muscles are loose don't force yourself into exercises with tight muscles stretch them out stretch 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 them out before you start putting all these pressures on them break exercises into smaller chunks if necessary choose enjoyable exercises and vary the routine make it fun guys make it fun make it so you want to keep on doing it because you want to move you want to move every day you want to get up and move you shouldn't be just sitting there watching TV You're sitting there with your eyes down on your phone screen no when you finish your exercises then you come back in and you watch Miss Best Productions <laughs> you watch the videos but for, you know but get up and, and go um, if you can find a buddy Thank God that's what I did with the walk and I found my neighbor and she and I we just go we talk and we walk we talk and we walk and it makes it so much fun to do that listen to music oh music guys is a food of life just let it play on let it play get comfortable music don't get music that makes you feel down and out sometimes you, you listen to things and it's just so <clears throat> doom and gloom and there's no fun in it get music that uplifts the spirit man and 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 so you can feel good inside and out cool down after exercising to help prevent stiffness cool your body down cool down and listen to the body and rest if you need to just rest so again, it's not to jump into things and, and overwhelm yourself. It is about doing things gradually and so that you can enjoy it. If you do three and you feel like, mm, then stop. The next time you do it, you might be able to do four and, then, and so on. So one of them is the trunk rotation. The trunk rotation is just to sit on the chair and then turn your body from side to side. So the trunk rotation, you're just, you're sitting on the chair and you want to just turn and turn. And you might not be able to, you know, you turn because you're turning your whole trunk, your, your back, your, you're turning. And you just sit on the chair and you're turning, turning from side to side. One of the things, if you have a medicine ball, you can use that too. And you move it from side to side. You move it from side to side. Then you have the next one that I like. I like the pelvic tilt. You're not going to see me tilting any pelvic. But that's one of the good ones. Because you know what? In the mornings when you wake up, you lay there in your bed on your back. And you can do it. You put your hands at your side. And you push, your, your, you push up and push down push up hold it push down and you get it and you're tightening your your, your, your core you're tightening your, your stomach muscles you're tightening you're, you're giving you're stretching your back muscles so try it guys I'm not going to go into all of it you could lay on the floor if you want to but I like to do it on the bed because sometimes once I get up and start moving I don't want to get down on the floor and so you do that one the pelvic tilt and the other one is the knee but it, it because you have to be on your back on the floor a lot of people with arthritis it's hard to get down on the floor and then to get up again so I'm not sending you I'm not gonna send you on the I don't know my thing just fell apart 
<laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to it. It just didn't want to hold my phone. So I just put it here. So again, just just use oh, what's that? Oh my hand. <laughs> That's my hand, people. That's my hand. Right? Um no, I don't know what to do with it. That's my hand. I thought it was sad. So what part of my body is that wrinkled? But it's not. That's my thumb. So yeah, the, the thing just broke from my um and this is a new one for my tripod. But yes, but get in the um the things that you need so that you can build and become a stronger, better you. All right. So again, arthritis is not something that we play with, but at the same time, we have to, you know, we can manage it. It's not something that is that is um, contagious, so nobody needs to feel like, oh my God. But it can be very the discomfort is real, guys. It is. It is very discomfort <laughs> when your back hurts. It's not a good feeling at all. But you give thanks, you know, you keep going. All right. So that's my take, guys, on my arthritis experience. And I hope that whatever information I shared with you will help you in some shape or form. But again, you wake in the morning, the, the pelvic tilt for the lower back is, is a good one for me. Because you lay there and as you open your eyes and say, thank you, Lord, and ask him for guidance for a new day. And just thank him for all of the good things he has done and all of the situations he has helped you through in the bad times. And and then you just push the pillows from under your head and just put your hands at your side and pull your knees up and just lift your hip, just push your hip up and hold it, then lower it. Up, just push up, hold it, come down. Push up, and if you do 10 in the mornings, then you've done, you've done well. So make it a great day, guys. I did a video yesterday showing you, um, thanking all of you donors and showing you where the kitchen, where we started with just the foundation and where we have gotten to, where the building blocks are up. We're gonna get in ready now to put the steel and do something up there to, so the wood can go up and the sink can get in plate can cover and then the flooring to get done and and we, we 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 we're getting there we're getting there we are getting there and so i notice a lot of people there no comments then you know nobody's saying anything they're not happy we have gotten this far i don't know if people are upset that we should have gotten further i don't know but um but the video is there, guys. Enjoy the video. Share the video. And we've been sharing it. Somebody might see it and want to also donate. But thanks to all of you. Happy birthday, Bev Brown. Happy, happy birthday to you. Today's your day, girl. You go shine. You go out there and shine. Enjoy your day. I know you say you're making your Akian selfish today. Girl, look, I could have had some of that Akian selfish right here, right now. But you enjoy your day, girl. You you use what you have. You don't need to look out there and say, oh, it's my birth. And nobody doing this for me. Nobody do. You be thankful for what you have and enjoy it. And you eat your ackee and selfish, which is healthier than any steak dinner. But you enjoy it to the fullest. And you have dumplings with it, too. Oh, my God. And breadfruit. Girl, enjoy your day to the fullest. Miss Bev, so much love to each and every one of you and all of you, my Leo people, my August people, whether you're Leo or not, because then I'd have to step in July for the Leos too. But just make it a great month and beyond. Take care, my good people. You're awesome. You're powerful. Go make things happen in your life. God is right there just waiting for you to ask. And when he gives it to you, don't sit and question things. Don't sit there when he sends you. Some of us, we want husbands. And when he sends us good people, because they're not good looking or they're not skinny enough, or we feel like we turn them away. Guys, evaluate people by who they are inside. You hear me? I don't care who they are. Don't worry about what they look like. Don't worry that they don't have a car. Sometimes they don't have a car. They stay out of trouble because they're going to be there with you. 
they have a car, they start hanging out over there and over there. And the next thing they're giving somebody a ride and you get mad because, oh, which woman that didn't know your car? And it creates a whole thing. So if God sends you a humble person, guys, don't overlook them because you're looking for something that is going to punch you in the eye, something that's going to be mean to you, something that's not going to give you a cup of tea if you're sick, something that's going to walk out on you when the times get rough. Don't look for what God don't want you to have. Who God put in our life is who he wants us to have. You know, when we go out there and go look for ourselves, Without asking Christ's guidance, we pick up all sort of something that later on we wish to God they have never met them. So when you pray and ask God to open the doors to you and he opens it, don't start running back and say, well, that's not what we want. We don't want no man with no nappy head. We don't want no man with raggedy. We want, even though they're a good cook, you know, then we wash the laundry, you know, and iron for you, you know. You don't want to appreciate them. You better learn to appreciate them. Learn to appreciate them because at the end of the day, when we stop looking at material things, when we stop looking at what others have, what I have is not what going to be suitable for you. You know? Just just if you pray to God and him, him provide somebody for you who is not combative and fighting and your life is miserable and you, you're not making progress, you're just... Now move, you're just there. Just think again, people. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Single life is great. Because you get to do so much. You wake up when you want to. You go to bed, nobody waking up in the middle of the night because they need you. It's good, you know. But it's also good if you have somebody there to have a cup of tea with. Too. When I remember when I met Danny, I broke him into a cup of Milo every night before he goes to bed. And he still, we still drink a cup of tea before bed. <laughs> it was just funny. I go to hot, hot Jamaica. And every night before bed, I'll make him a cup of tea. And it stayed with him until even this day. Before he goes to bed, no matter how late, he drinks a cup of tea. So love them, people. Love them. Nobody's perfect. So you look for the good part them and the bad part them. Talk to them about it. I say, boy, you know, when you do so, I say, make me feel bad. You know, we can change it. You know, I love you. I appreciate you. But that little part doesn't make me feel good inside. And they love you and care enough, they'll change it. So Ms. Bev says, one love to everybody. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy our month. Celebrate with us. And my celebration is just to pray me up. Pray me up. Ask God to just be around this girl. And to just, you know, stand by my children. Cover them under his blood. Just cover them, people. Cover them. Cover them, please. Take it easy, guys. Again, Jet, you share my birthday. And Erin, your son, you didn't tell me what date. And my cousins, Shannon Jr., um, love my niece, my grandniece Imani, Princess Imani. Um, there's so many people. My big sister in Jamaica, Alma. My niece, um, Jan Janice. Um, so many people in this beautiful August month. Beautiful, beautiful month. Take care, guys.